Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a one brand video. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a haul and a review on the products that I have from them. Um, the brand is called Mallow Cosmetics. The brand has only been around for a couple of years and everything is designed and tested here in New Zealand. The products are cruelty free, vegan and paraben free as well. So a lot of people do look for things that don't have parabens and things in them. Um, so if you are any of those people that like those things, then this brand is definitely one for you to try. So the basic idea is just to bring high quality, guilt free makeup um, that is actually quite affordable in my opinion, but it is kind of accessible. I just want to show you a few of the products. I feel like I had done this video before, so maybe I was like almost going to do this video, but didn't. So I have opened and used all of these products. Um, so the first product that I'm going to show you here is the, the Mineral Eyeliner. So pretty straightforward packaging, um, it just says the brand Bare Mellow Mineral Eyeliner. It says what it is over there again and at the bottom it is Lines Eyes for Dark Definition. A little bit of blurb about the brand. Mineral Eyeliner Ingredients um, and then it says at the bottom free from parabens, recyclable, no animal testing. It says mellowcosmetics.com so very straightforward packaging. Pull out the eyeliner. The packaging of the product itself just says mellow and mineral eyeliner. So very, very plain. And it's just your retractable kind of eyeliner. We'll do a little swatchy swatch so you can see. So to me, how it comes out is it's matte, but kind of waxy at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense because waxy is usually glossy, but it kind of feels waxy. I'm not a big eyeliner person, so for me, if I was going to use this, it would just be in the waterline and to tide line, and I have used it to do that. For me, personally, it works the same as any other eyeliner that I have used for this kind. So the next product we have is a lipstick here. So the packaging is quite cute. Again, it's that same um, matte black packaging, but it's got a little lips here. It has the brand here. Maybe they read... Um, branded and that's why they've got a new website as well because this seems to be how the brand looks not like this. You've got the colour at the top that says Danger Zone and then you've got the little brand and the website there. Ingredients on the side so it also says no animal testing here as well and paraben free and you've got your whole list of ingredients so quite straightforward and then on your little barcode it's just got Danger Zone. So here is the packaging here so there is stamped up there um, and the lid comes off like this. So I do feel personally, um, just honest review, is that the packaging is a little bit cheapy, but I think that's why they've changed it. The packaging on the new website looks a lot more sleek and it's a rounded tube instead of a square. But I do like it when it's closed, it's just when you take the lid off, it just does feel a little bit cheap. I think it's actually like this part here that feels like nothing if that makes any sense like it's this bit like everything else is quite nice and then the bottom lets it down so it says the danger zone again on the back and then that is the color there and that color is just beautiful um i wish i would i would wear this more but with my hair at the moment my hair being bright at the moment <laughs> not that you can see it but um i'm not a big fan of wearing colors like this at the moment so i'm just gonna I'll change my hair again soon and I'll be able to wear it fine. How I would describe this is it's kind of like a pinky red. So it's an ultra matte lipstick. And yeah, that is the swatch. They smell like Cabbage Patch Kids. Or MAC lipstick. God, like a Cabbage Patch Kid wearing a MAC lipstick. <laughs> so it smells like to me. I don't know if your Cabbage Patch Kids smell the same. No, it's quite similar to the MAC lipstick smell. But yeah, that is the lipstick. That is a really beautiful lipstick and I will wear it more when my hair is different, it's just at the moment I feel, I don't know, I like to concentrate on my eyes, which I really need the glue down. The next product I'm going to show you is the Bag Eyeshadow. So this is the packaging, it's actually got a window in it, and I've had more expensive brands before and they don't even bother putting a plastic window in it. Again, really well packaged, like lots of information everywhere. Now I really like the packaging of this matte black plastic and, and then the packaging is quite thick so the plastic is quite thick it's a mineral baked shadow and this is so pretty i want all the shades because if they're anything like this they would make amazing highlights as well so let's just give you a swatch 
So I'll just swatch on the finger and then onto the skin. So can you see how pretty and shimmery, shimmery, yeah, we'll go with shimmery. <laughs> how pretty that looks. That's just absolutely beautiful. I really want to like put it on my face, but I feel like I might do it when I'm not filming the video just in case I screw up my face, but I really want to shove this on my face because it's so nice. So the last product that I have to show you guys is my favorite product out of them. It is the powder blush and this is the color peach. So again with the packaging, um, very similar to the eyeshadow packaging. This is my favorite product out of all of them. This is my favorite packaging of these four items. You just kind of pull it open. That's how thick the plastic is, so it's actually quite thick. And then that is the product. It has like a quilted pattern on it. I absolutely love this product. So pigmented and blends out so well. There are the... There. There's the tiniest amount of um, liquid glitter particles in it. But it just looks so beautiful on the skin. So those are the four products that I have on the website as well. The last time I was on there, they it said that they're bringing out liquid lip paint. So blush, $10 US. Eyeshadows are only $8 US. And the lipstick are $13. So the lipstick, I like all the packaging on the new website is different. So the lipstick will be packaged differently. And they're only $13. So that's really good to me. Those are really good prices. So I'm just going to show you on the Instagram. They have got 10 new colors coming out on the 1st of March and they are in the matte liquid lipstick. And honestly, they look freaking amazing. Uh, so this is what the new packaging on the website looks like. If that looks absolutely adorable to me. I think this brand is going to go places. Uh, the blushes, absolutely beautiful and same as the eyeshadow uh, the lipstick is nice as well but the blush and the eyeshadow really stand out to me um, pigmentation wise and just the way they blend out on the skin it looks absolutely stunning that's my little video hopefully this was helpful for you absolutely check them out i think this brand is definitely going places great price and obviously i'm obsessed with the blush and the eyeshadow they are amazing um, and the liquid lipstick i can't wait so thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.